Hi everybody, my name is Austin, and today we're going to talk about what what games I've played recently, you know? Uh, sure, let's just get on with it, right? Uh, I've played a lot of games this year. I got Game Pass. I mean, it was kind of cool, yeah. Uh, but some very interesting games that I have stuck around, though, and some games that I've completed, because I've started many games. But I've always uh, kind of stopped them, right? Like, I got to Red Dead, you know, Red Dead 2. Oh, that game was fun, yeah. That game was fun. Um, didn't stick with it, though. It just wasn't my thing. Uh, GTA was really fun. But uh, let's just say I didn't have the hardware for it. And then now I have the hardware for it. But, yeah, I'm just kind of too late now. I don't want to go back. Uh, Genshin Impact. I mean... I tried getting into it multiple times, but I'm just I can't, man. I'm already I'm already playing E7, you know. I'm already playing E7, but some notable games that I have definitely been playing, you know. Here's my top three essentially, right? So going off with number three, I probably am gonna say Halo Infinite, man. Halo Infinite. Um, this game, like, besides playing Halo Reach, right? I'm not that big of a Halo guy, you know. I've only played Halo Reach to my cousins, you know, back in the good old days when I was, like, six or some shit. Six or seven. When I could barely, like, control, you know, use the controllers right on, like, the Xbox controller. But, you know, either way, I mean, it was fun, you know. We got to play. We got to hang out, you know. May have played a little bit of Halo 2, Halo 3. I don't know what my cousins had back then. It was a long time ago. But the point was, yeah, I, you know. I think everybody's experienced Halo back in the 2000s, you know, it was, it was a wonderful time back then, you know, brings back, brings back nostalgia, and Halo Infinite, you know, I don't know what, I don't know what happened to Halo 5, but Halo Infinite definitely grabbed everybody's nut sacks, and, and, you know, they were like, hey, we ain't bad anymore, we actually pretty decent now, and multiplayer, I mean, I would, I thought I would love the story, I thought I would love the, uh, the campaign, right, the campaign, the campaign is pretty good. It's alright. The open world's alright, you know. I haven't actually finished the campaign. Ooh, shocker. Um, <laughs> I actually played Halo 1 Combat Anniversary a while back, just like a couple months ago. I didn't finish that either. The campaign was alright, but... I know the, the, the... I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna get flamed in the comments. Oh, you don't like Master Chief's story? Like, I do, I do. I just... I just didn't want to finish it. <laughs> but the multiplayer, though. The multiplayer, even though there weren't that many guns in Halo, in Halo Infinite, even though there weren't that many guns, the, the multiplayer is so addicting. I don't know why. It's just like, sometimes you get teabagged. Other times you just get uh, stamped on, you know. But you still want to play, even if you get so toxic and so mad, bro. And there are, there are like, times where... There, there, there are going to be times, right, where it's like a... Where you get either destroyed or you're, you know, you're carrying the team, basically. It's so, like, the matchmaking is dog shit. There's no ranked mode, you know. It's, it's just chaos everywhere. But that's what makes it so fun. Like, big team battle, 12v12, is insane, bro. Uh, it's not like Battle Royale or anything, you know. It's, like, self-contained, but, yeah, it's so chaos. That's my favorite mode by far. I play that one all the time. Um, the other modes are great as well, but... Big team battle is definitely where it is. Um, the modes are pretty generic, but I feel like it's just like the f like the fluidity, you know, and the movement and just you know the fact that Halo feels like it feels open, right? Like I mean, obviously it's open world. Like this this version is open world, but you know you can jump, you can fucking move freely around. You know, you can just feels like feels like you're being trapped in a cage typically when you're playing shooters you know it's like oh shit the only thing i can do is just uh shoot a gun and that's it right like i know in six seat a uh, rainbow six it's just like oh i can lean while shooting oh my god they're so innovative that's why we have to make a new fucking shooter game because we can we can lean now we can we can lean now get that purple juice guys get that purple juice but we can, but halo infinite it just feels fresh bro like, it feels like the multiplayer is clean. They just need to add more stuff to it. And obviously fix their servers from crashing all the goddamn time. And 
you have yourself a solid, solid game, bro. A solid, solid game, especially the multiplayer. That, that's the thing that's keeping me back, bro. That's the thing that's keeping me back. And this is a game I think I played last year, 2021. I know it came out two years ago, but it still holds up, bro. It still holds up. I mean, I played one year ago because I didn't have money, all right? I didn't have a cool PC to play it on. Now I do. For a game? For a game that looks so good, like Doom Eternal, like, it doesn't, it doesn't need that much hardware, even though it runs insanely well. Uh, take, for example, right? I have, like, uh... I have a GTX 1060 back then. Now I have a RX an RX 6600, but I know barely barely an upgrade, but <laughs> barely. But what can you do, right? I mean, I was fine with my GTX 1060. I just needed something, you know, better for streaming. So yeah, because more VRAM and stuff. But anyway, that's 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 besides the point, right? I I got my my graphics card. That's a pretty. I mean, it's the most popular graphics card on Steam, but so that's that's like the most average graphics card you ever get, right? That game looks so good on mid-tier graphics card. Insane. The visuals, the demons, the world, you know, the pit of lava, the bones, you know, the scary, spooky faces, the texture of the demons, like, you know, the cock demon or something, whatever it's called, you know, the cock demon, you know, like, dies, you know, it's pimp, it's rough face and all that it's just it's just so much beauty to it you know and the fact that just like Halo Infinite like it doesn't feel like you're just contained within a little box where the only thing you can do is shoot you know you can move around ex more than Halo Infinite you can just be free you know you could you can do a 360 no scope you can do a backflip in midair you know it's just all this fun stuff and you can swing around shoot become Spider-Man it's just like for a game, I can see why people loved this game so much back when COVID hit. 100%. This game makes you feel free. And at the time, right? When COVID made you feel so small and made you feel so stuck. This game definitely brought everybody together during COVID. Because it was free, bro. It made you free. Like, it made you feel like, okay, yes. I can literally climb up this wall and you know, stay up this wall and fucking, you know, take a piss inside, you know, this cup, you know, and I can do it perfectly, and oh my god, I can swing my dick around and just, you know, swing it like a spider web or whatever, you know, it's just, it's amazing, bro, it's amazing, it really is, it's really fun, <laughs> and obviously, it is really, really difficult, even in ultra violence mode, it is insanely difficult, I, I think, for me. Uh, looking back now, I'm like, ooh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to go back there again for the challenge, but the game visuals are so good. The challenge is great, too. Like, it's one of those games where it's like, I don't like getting beat up, or do I? Do I like getting beat up? Maybe. Maybe. I, some, I somehow become a masochist. I somehow will like, like getting beaten up. You know, I'm just like, oh, 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 shit. I mean... Oh, okay. I mean, oh, so all of a sudden now it's all so good now. All of a sudden now it's so, it's so clean now. All of a sudden, all of a sudden I'm like, ah, I know this game whooped my ass. I know this game beat my children. I know this game hurt me inside. I know this game did a lot of bad things to me, but I somehow still want to play the game. It's that good, bro. It's just like it hurts, but you still want to play. I can see why people like Dark Souls now. I mean. People like those just are just masochists, you know? It's just like, hey, you want to challenge? <laughs> you want to challenge? Here you go. Beat your ass, and you're going to love it. And, yeah, I mean, it's just it's just fun. It's just fun. Just get to be the doom slayer. Get, to, get that sigma male energy, you know, that testosterone. It's like, heck yeah. You ain't, I ain't scared of you, bitch. I ain't scared of you. In fact, you should be scared of me. Ah, you know? All that fun stuff. And lastly, I feel like the game that... I mean, it was a tough one between this new Eternal and this game. Uh, I would probably have to say my favorite game this year. Not this year. My favorite game I've played this year, like 20, 2021 to 2022, like this year. Probably has to be it, man, for sure. I mean, obviously this game came out, like, what, two or three years ago? I mean, like, 
Ooh, as if anybody cares about Hitman anymore. Out there in mainstream media. I mean, I know it's on culture and fucking Reddit or whatever, you know, sub-community. Obviously, people love it. But outside the community, just like Doom Eternal, right? Like, if the game, the game gets big, and then afterwards, there's just a community formed around it, and it's never mentioned ever again. But this game is fun, bro. This game is fun. It's fresh. It's a game I could play for hours. I've been Hitman 3... Uh, yeah, it was one of the few games I actually finished. Halo Infinite, I didn't finish at all. I just love the multiplayer. But Doom Eternal and Hitman, I finished. At least the third one, I finished. And now I'm going to play the first one. And the second one. And I, and and if the momentum is going to keep rolling, I might just redo the third one. Because it's so fun. You can do so many different things in Hitman. Like, oh, you can kill this way. Kill this way. Kill... Oh, um, you know do this tactic and do this tactic and oh switched up it's like this and that you know it's just like there's so much custom like customization bro the the format is simple right just like doom eternal it's it's really simple it's not like i mean instead of doom eternal where it's just kill 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 and just move 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 and hitman it's more like kill 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 hide 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 and Take your take clothes, you know. Strip them naked. Strip them naked. Strip them naked. Strip them naked. You know, strip them naked. You know, strip them. Strip. Them. Take all. Take all their clothes. You know, <laughs> and wear for yourself. You know, that's basically the gameplay loop. I mean, it's really generic when you think about it, but the concepts are always so fresh. Like, oh, you're traveling to Belize this time. Oh, you're traveling to, you're traveling to Russia to uh fucking. Uh, Germany, oh, traveling to USA or Canada or some shit, you know, it's just like, the scenarios are just so unique, it's just like, eh, you know what, uh, even if this gameplay is boring, just like, just the environment, it's just great, and speaking of the environment, though, they add a lot of detail to this shit, I mean, this game, I mean, you know this game can run well when I can stream it on Twitch, and Twitch doesn't even like Minecraft, when I stream Minecraft, that shit gets blurry as fuck, but... Streaming Hitman? I mean, this game's fun, bro. And it actually runs these out. <laughs> you know, you know it's good, you know. It looks great. Fucking Agent 47's bald-ass head, bro, and his barcode. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. I'm telling my friends about Agent 47, and they're like, haha, yeah, sure. I've heard, I haven't heard about that game in, like, three years. And I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? I got around to it, so that's what I'm going to talk about, you know. It's fun. It really is fun. I, 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 it's one of the few games that I'd be like, I'm 100% replaying it, you know. Doom Eternal, I'm 100% going to replay again at some point. <laughs> although, I'm, although I'm really just scared of just facing Marauders again. I'm just like, oh god, no. But Hitman is 100% one of those games where I could re-re-replay again. It's just like, oh, you could use all these different weapons, all these different techniques, all these, all these different outfits, you know. You know, kill the main man at the, at the top, you know. That's just, it's so simple, but it's just like, oh... I have to use my brain a little bit, you know, and I'm just like, that's kind of fun, you know, I like using my brain for video games, um, and also it gets to the point where, uh, yeah, I don't have to think too hard, yeah, I mean, yeah, I have to think, but I don't have to think too hard, and that's the best kind of type of game, you know, you get to think, but not too hard, uh, I feel like my only complaint with Hitman is like, uh, you know, finding items and stuff, that's the worst part of Hitman, but everything else, clean. Everything else will be enough. Everything else is done perfectly. And so I really enjoy that, you know. I mean, I feel like it's definitely my top game of, you know, 2020-ish, you know. I'm not much of a PC gamer, you know. I only got into PC gaming, like, last year. So I'd probably say Hitman's my favorite game so far. By far, 100%. Yeah, I, didn't, I, I only got into PC gaming <laughs> only one year ago. So, yeah, I mean, I just got into PC VR, so... Hitman 3 VR is insane. I, I love that. I mean, <laughs> all the getting sick and everything. Just like, be the bald man himself. That's fucking fun, man. I can't wait to start, like, hiding and start, you know, jumping inside, like, uh, you know, closets and, like, you know, uh, shelves and all that. It's going to be so much fun, bro. It's going to be so much fun. But I have to get used to VR first. I 100% have to get used to VR Man, that game's so fun. I'm, I haven't played two yet. I've played one and three and one. But I'm definitely going to understand playing two. <laughs> We're going to play them all uh, 
like chronologically order, you know, hundred percent. And a special honorable mention for mobile games I've been playing, E Seven, hundred percent Epic Seven. That game's fun. I mean, I'm an Asian guy, you know. I like playing Epic Seven. Clash Royale is fun, but I haven't stuck around. I haven't stuck around it too much. I kind of. I mean, I came back and I quit. You know, Conk, you know, Clash of Clans. Uh, came back, kind of quit. Again. Genshin, same thing. <laughs> but Epic 7, you know, I came back and I stuck around. So, yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's fun. Um, it's just an RPG, you know, game. You know, you just collect waifus and just see the big titties and you fucking play the story. And then once you finish the story, you just grind wyvern until the day you die. But... I mean, it's not really a game. It's more of a chore, but hey, it's at least something for me to do, right? When I'm bored, so you know why not? I do, I do enjoy that. I do. I mean, I'm an Asian guy, right? I like big titties, you know. I like this and that, you know. I like, I like playing gacha games. I like wasting my money, which I never do because I'm free to play. But you know, I'm memeing it out there just for the boys and for the gals, you know. And those are the games I've been playing recently. You know, they've been kind of fun. Uh, Another honorable mention, uh, I fucking played a bunch of sex games. I've tried VR sex games. They're quite interesting. I will say that for you that much. I'll say you for you that much, bro. I'm just one horny motherfucker. And they say, you know, the more porn you fucking watch, you know, the, the, tinier, your brain, the tinier your brain gets. And I'm like, big brain, bro. Big brain. Big brain. What this much brain, bro? This much brain. This much brain. This much brain, bro. <laughs> this much brain. 100%, bro. By, by the time we hit 18, bro, we're going to be retarded AF, but, hey, at least, at least, <laughs> at least we played a lot of cool games, right? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. Oh, yeah, Minecraft. Also, another honorable mention, Minecraft. That game's fun. I do. I do enjoy it. I stream it sometimes, you know, but is it a game I would play by myself? Probably not. Uh. I, I love Minecraft, just like everybody else, but, uh, let's just say I'm not really good at Minecraft, bro. I'm not really good. But the, the farthest I've ever gone is to the nether, and I can't get past the nether because I'm so scared of the gas, bro. Gas are the scariest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> if once I, get, once I learn how to beat gas, then that's where the real shit starts beginning. Yeah. And that's about it. See you guys. If you make it to the end of this video, please consider subscribing and obviously liking the video. I'll know who's the true fan if you do like the video and subscribe. Those of you who keep saying that you keep watching the entire video, liars. Okay, liars. Not unless you subscribe. If you subscribe and you like the video and you turn on notifications, then you, then you are the real G, bro. You're the real G. I love you, man. I love you guys. Um... Can we hit 500 subs? <laughs> I mean, I feel like 420 subs, I mean, that is a kind of funny number, but I feel like 500 would just be like, yeah, you know, yeah, great, you know, it's been a long time, bro, it's been a, like, my time has come, you know, like, I need this, <laughs> I need this, but, hey, I mean, if you don't want to subscribe, you just want to watch my video, I mean, if I'm going to be dead honest, if I'm going to be super dead honest, fuck you, but, you know, hey, I mean, it's the internet, right? It's the internet. I can't tell them what to do. If I tell them anything, right, they'll probably just do the opposite, so it's your decision, right? Your decision. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.